Good morning and welcome to this week's reading vlog. I am currently in the middle of Unbirthday by Liz Braswell. I'm about halfway through and I'm planning on finishing this today. That's the plan anyway. I think I can do it. It's been a pretty quick read and it's really fun. It's just Wonderland nonsense and I'm really enjoying it, you know? Probably not going to be a new favorite, but it does get me excited for the rest of the series, the, uh, the rest of the Disney Twisted Tales. So I think I came up with a new strategy and that is we are going to start with the biggest books first, get those out of the way, and then move into the quicker stuff, I think. Um, so I have a stack here, hold on, of the largest of the books on my TBR. So let's go over them. We've got The Lies of Locke Lamora, Starless, A Memory Called Empire, Red Sister, A Queen in Hiding, and The Last Magician. I think I'm going to start with this. This was one of my top 13 books to read off my backlist that I talked about in my um, end of the year TBR. So I, I should get to this. Um, and as you can see, the font is, is, is kind of small. <laughs> it's kind of small and this is kind of big. Um, what, what, what do we got? Over 500 pages for sure. 521. 527. Wait, is that a preview for like the next book? Okay, 530. 530 pages. Um, but I have been dying to read this book forever, you guys. This is a like heist novel, right? The Thorn of Camor is said to be an unbeatable swordsman, a master thief, a friend to the poor, a ghost that walks through walls. Slightly built and barely competent with a sword, Locke Lamora is, much to his annoyance, the fabled thorn. And while Locke does indeed steal from the rich, uh, who else would be worth stealing from, the poor never see a penny. All of Locke's gains are strictly for himself and his tight-knit band of thieves, the gentlemen bastards. Sounds wonderful. Yeah, this pretty much sounds like it's just going to be a really great time. So excited to read it. I have no idea what I have. I don't have any plans this week. I do need to do more Christmas shopping. I need to finalize my Christmas shopping. There's a few more things that I need to pick up for the kids. I have this overwhelming urge to redecorate my entire house. And I don't, I don't know how I'm going to do that. Like I want to rearrange furniture, but I think I found the perfect configuration for my living room and I don't want to change it. You know what I mean? So I think what I need is just like new decor. Like I really want a new living room rug. I really want all new throw pillows for my couch. I want new nightstands for my bedroom. I want a new desk. Like I just, I just want to like buy things, which I can't like now is not the time. Okay. Cause Christmas and whatnot. I know, but I really want to do that. <laughs> I've moved on from wanting to change my hair constantly to wanting to change my surroundings constantly. I don't know if that's an improvement. It'll definitely be more expensive, so there's that. Um, but anyway, this should be a fun week. I'm hoping, I'm gonna try to make it a fun week. It's Monday. So goal for today is to finish this and then start The Lies of Locke Lamora and we'll see how far I can get in with this one. I meant to do this before, but I wanted to show you my December spreads for my bullet journal. I like the way it came out, even though, once again, it's not perfect. I tried to do a ribbon title thing here and it's it looks wonky, I know, but I did a quote page on this side. It says, if you light a lamp for someone else, it will also brighten your path. And that's a quote from the Buddha. And December, and I, did, I drew a little wreath. I'm very proud of my wreath. That is my cover page. And then we have my calendar and I did some just like Christmas lights around the edge with another little wreath over here. Um, and then we've got my habits. I love the way this turned out. I did three little mini wreaths and then my monthly calendars, even though I messed up on this one and it's bigger than the rest. Um, but I just love the way it looks overall. And then this is my YouTube video planner, my stats for the month, uh, a space for hauled books, and then my weekly setup. So I do things differently. I don't do, I do a month overview 
for my weekly spreads and each box is one week of the month because I don't, if I did one weekly spread each week, I just wouldn't fill it out. I wouldn't use it all, all the space. So I do this instead. Um, then we have my books red spread and I just did some Christmas lights around the edge and then I'm just gonna print out the books like I usually do, the book covers, and put them in here at the end of the month. And that's it. Those are my December spreads. I'm very happy with the way it turned out. Also, I don't think I ever showed you my beautiful tree. We got a new tree this year and it's that, you know, snow frosted tree. Let me see if I can get the whole thing in one frame. I love it. I am obsessed with it. I think it's so beautiful. I've got my TARDIS as a topper and we got all new ornaments this year and I'm so happy with them. I love these snowflakes. I love these uh, pine cones. They're just so pretty. We have them in red and in gold. Um, got these things. We've got some big baubles and the kids got to pick out new ornaments um, each individually for this year. So my son picked out this little snowman, which is adorable. And my daughter, this little doe, which is just so adorable. I love it. And then of course we got Spider-Man because we're all obsessed with Spider-Man. <laughs> And I got this cute little TARDIS with a wreath on it and it lights up and changes color. It's adorable. I love it so much. And new stockings. This one is Lee's and this one is Liz's. They are so adorable. We got them at Target. I love them. Good morning. It is Tuesday. I was convinced that I wasn't gonna wear any makeup today. And then I ended up putting on a full face, like more makeup than I usually wear, um, to film the video. So I don't know what that's about. But anyway, I did finish Unbirthday by Liz Braswell last night and I, I liked it. Um, I ended up giving it three stars, which it's not the highest rating, but it's definitely not a bad rating. Um, I I love Wonderland. I mentioned this before. I, I love the Wonderland nonsense. Um, I think I just expected something very different than what I got. So I thought the whole point, and this is this is the first Disney twisted tale that I've I've read. Um, but I thought like the whole point of the Disney twisted tale series. <laughs> was to reimagine the original story of that tale. Do you know what I mean? So like, where, where are my other ones? So it's like the original story, like this is Straight On Till Morning, a reimagining of Peter Pan, right? It says, what if Wendy first traveled to Neverland with Captain Hook instead of Peter Pan? So it's like the same story, right? The same events, or not the same events, but the same story, but something about it changed and that's not exactly what we got with Alice in Wonderland so it's not the original story of Alice Alice's adventures you know in Wonderland it's not her going to Wonderland for the first time she like this is assuming that the the whole Wonderland story happened the way it happened but then as an older as a young adult now she's 18 she's going back to Wonderland um, and experiencing different things. So this is more like a complete reimagining of Through the Looking Glass as opposed to Alice's Adventures. Not that that's a big deal, but <laughs> and that's not the reason why I didn't love it as much. I'm just mentioning that I expected something different that that may or may not have affected my rating, but it mostly did not. Um, I, I love the nonsensicalness of Wonderland. I loved Alice as a main character. I loved the uh, the juxtaposition of real world conflicts and Wonderland conflicts and how they intertwined and how um, doing something in the real world affected things in Wonderland or vice versa. So I, I enjoyed that. I enjoyed the messages in here. Um, I enjoyed the slight little romance in here. I enjoyed everything about this. 
just not as much as I was hoping to. It's a great book. Like I really don't have anything negative to say about it other than I didn't feel it. <laughs> I didn't feel it. It didn't feel like I wasn't emotionally connected. I guess that's, that's what it is. The emotions weren't there, um, but I could appreciate the story for what it was and enjoyed my time with it. So I gave it a three star, um, which is not bad. And I, I enjoyed it. I'm excited to continue on with the, um, the other books in the series. Now that I have read this one, I will save all of my Twisted Tale series. They're all down there. Are they all there? Yeah, they're all there. So I will be saving all of these. I'm not getting rid of any of them because I did finish one of the books in the series and that was that was my goal. If I start a book in a series, then I can keep the whole series. So yay, that's done. I don't think I'm gonna focus on reading any more of them before the end of the year because I wanna get through some other things, obviously. So what am I reading next? I've moved on to The Lies of Locke Lamora by Scott Lynch. Um, I don't know where the book is. I think it's out in the living room. I don't wanna go get it. Um, but yeah, I'm reading that next. I started it last night, technically this morning. I was up late. And once again, quite different than how I thought it was gonna start out. We're following Locke as a, as a young boy at first. And so Locke, is an orphan and he gets picked up by th this uh, thief maker, thief maker, thief master, who uh, trains up these orphans to be thieves. <laughs> and he gets himself in a lot of trouble because he does things that he's not supposed to and the thief master ends up like selling him to this priest who is maybe not really a priest. Um, so in, in, interesting stuff, interesting stuff. I didn't get much further than that. I am excited to continue reading. Um, the audiobook is really good, so I'm, I'm listening to the audiobook. And we'll see how that goes. It's a big book, so it's gonna take me a while. I'm probably not gonna finish it today, um, but hopefully soon. I wanna get through that uh, this week for sure. I also need to film a video, and it's gonna take me a while because I'm filming my anticipated releases video. That's actually gonna be two videos because I have so many books to talk about. 34 books on my anticipated releases master list. It's gonna take me a while <laughs> to film and edit because like editing anticipated releases videos is annoying because like all the, the pictures that I have to pop up. So I'm gonna get started on that even though it's like so dark outside. I don't know if you can tell, but it's like really dark in this room. I have my camera on night mode right now, so maybe you can't see it, but it's dark outside. It's gonna rain at some point today probably, but it's like super overcast, super cloudy. I have, I'm gonna film in the living room and the living room is even darker. <laughs> so, We'll see, we'll see how this goes. Um, this is the worst day to be filming, but I didn't film yesterday. I usually film on Mondays and get, I had a whole schedule planned out for this month and I haven't been following it. So everything's kind of messed up, but I'm gonna try my best to get that video filmed today or those two videos filmed today and then start editing. Cause it's gonna take me a while to edit and I need to get the first part up tomorrow. Anyway, that's what I'm reading. That's what I'm doing today and I will catch up with you once I've made some more progress. Thought I'd do like a little check-in. Today's Thursday and I have not read a single thing since Tuesday night. So I went an entire day without reading, which is not normal for me normally <laughs> because I, I usually read every single day. Um, I decided to take a break from reading. I just wasn't in the reading mood. Took a break from vlogging as well, and now I'm regretting it. Um, haven't read a single thing today either, but I'm about to get comfy and do a little bit of reading now. It's like 12.40, I did some shopping this morning. So still reading The Lies of Locke Lamora. I am 151 pages in to it right there. I'm really enjoying this. I'm really enjoying all of the like machinations of Locke. Um, he is very clever, a very clever con man and thief. And there's there was a thing that made me think, oh, he's not, he's not that clever because he's been, fa but then it turned out that that was a part of the con. And I was like, wow, that is, that is good. The only problem I'm having with this is that it is extremely tedious to read. 
Um, it's just so detailed. It's so intricately woven and it's gonna it's dense it's dense and it's gonna take me a while to read and that is frustrating me because obviously I need to get through as many books as I can so I'm, I'm trying to read quickly but this is not a book that that uh, can be read quickly this is a book that I need to take my time with and that's kind of frustrating to me that's the only problem I'm having with it so far it's just extremely detailed very dense very intricate and it's gonna take time so, and I've, I haven't been giving it time. Um, but yeah, I haven't been doing a ton of reading, my friends. Um, but I did pick up some hair dye so that I could dye my hair purple. I'm actually, I've actually decided to cut it again. Um, so like the haircut that I got before, the, I had um, obviously more height on, or more length, <laughs> Height. more length on the top and shaved the sides and now that it's growing out it looks ridiculous and it's all wonky and my hair doesn't grow evenly so the top part has grown a ton and the the shaved sides have grown a ton too but just not as much as the top so now it looks ridiculous so I'm just gonna have to cut it make it even all one length tried to dye it blue the other day and it oh there's a lizard in the house that's great they are, they're always getting in. This is, this is Florida. Um, so anyway, um, I tried to dye it blue. It came out green. The blue didn't take at all. My hair is currently green. Um, it's like a grayish, yellowish green. It's horrible. So we're gonna try to dye it purple now, um, either today or tomorrow. We'll see how it turns out. Plus I'm gonna get it cut and we'll see how it looks. I don't know, but this is the, uh, the next phase in my ever growing, my ever changing hairstyles. So we'll see how that comes out. I'm, I'll definitely let you know, but for right now I'm gonna cuddle up um, and read The Lies of Lakamora. See how much I can get through today. I am going to see Spider-Man Far From Home. When the kids get home, we're all going together. I'm so excited, so excited. So I'll definitely tell you how that goes later on too. Talk to you later. Hi friends, it is been a couple days uh, since I last talked to you. Today is Monday, so it's time to wrap up the vlog and start the new vlog. And yes, I dyed my hair. Um, I dyed it purple. You can't really tell. It looks really dark in the camera, but oh, maybe you can see it in the light here. It's purple. It's almost like the shade of my lipstick. I'm obsessed. I'm obsessed, and of course I did cut it as well. So it's now a little bit more even, and I'm just, I'm in love with it. I really am. I feel like this is this is my true color this was the color i was supposed to be my whole life is purple i will never dye my hair a different color because it's just it's me so let's go ahead and wrap up the vlog i also have a mini haul here let me show you that first so i went to barnes noble yesterday um before seeing spider-man far from home for the second time this week i'm obsessed i love it so much I I don't want to spoil anything so I'm not gonna say anything at all but like it was incredible so anyway went to Barnes & Noble and picked up some books only two um, the first one being Leviathan Falls by James S.A. Corey this is the ninth and final book in the Expanse series I'm so excited to read this um, I, I don't know if I'm gonna get to it before the end of the year I probably won't because you guys know I'm trying to focus on my backlist but very happy to have this I'm very excited to see how this series wraps up how it all ends yeah I'm I'm nervous I'm scared I just I feel like just everyone's gonna die I feel like that's how it's gonna end <laughs> but I am excited to check it out um, so I got this in hardcover it's not gonna match the rest of my paperbacks but that's fine just black cover. Um, if you don't know, The Expanse is a sci-fi space opera series that I'm actually up to date on. So this final book is all I need to read to finish out the series. Very exciting. So I picked that up and then I picked up the 10th anniversary edition of Leviathan Wakes, which is the first book in the series. And look how stunning this is. I mean, I love the colors. I love the pink. I love the black. I love the white. This is the spine. The spine is gonna look so nice on my shelf. Just like, look how gorgeous that is. It has these beautiful pink sprayed edges. 
oh my goodness the end papers and underneath the dust jacket looks like this it's so stunning i love the color it's like a it's a purple oh my gosh the spine and then there is art on the reverse of the dust jacket which looks like this it's so beautiful i feel like we don't usually get these beautiful stunning covers for sci-fi books so i really really like that they did this um and i i hope oh i pray that they do um matching editions for every book in the series i will i will literally buy them all i will buy them all but i'm so happy to have this so so happy so yeah got these two books very excited to add them to my let to my collection very excited to read this very very soon at some point <laughs> probably probably next month if i don't get to it before the end of the year <sighs> my dog is losing her mind the kids are out front playing and she wants to go play with them but i can't let her because she just takes off and runs around the neighborhood so yeah um anyway sorry for if you can hear the barking in the background um i did finish the lies of Lamora. i think i finished this on Saturday? Um, I really, really, really enjoyed this. I really enjoy Locke as a character. I love seeing Locke as a young boy. I love seeing him as a grown man because we are following both him as a young boy, him as a young man. Um, I enjoyed the other characters in here, the side characters, everyone in the gentleman bastards, but especially Jean. Jean Tannen is, is every, he's just like, he's a gentle, he's a gentle giant, you know? He's just a big bear of a guy. But he's he's so sweet but he has a dark side he has a dark side he can be very quick to anger i just i loved him i loved him i loved how clever luck was i loved the mana uh, the machinations the scheming the con I, I just loved it it was such a fun fun time um the only issue i had with it and i probably talked about this earlier on is the <laughs> how tedious it is to read it's very um it's very dense it's very dense and it has these interludes and some of them are like past lock as a little boy um but some of them are just like world building things that are very info dumpy and even though they're told in a very interesting way and it's a very interesting thing that we're learning whether it be the history um of the world the politics or like the history of certain people, certain families, you know, high ranking families in the city or whatever it is. And it's told in like a, a humorous and fun way, but it's still info dumpy. Do you know what I mean? So because of all that, I couldn't give this a full five star. I gave it four stars, really enjoyed my time re reading it. Um, but it took me, it took me a while to read. Like it took me five days. Well, I guess technically four days because I took a day off reading, but it's just, it's so intricate. It's so incredibly detailed. We get details on details about everything. Everything we come in contact with, every place the character goes, we get detailed description, history on that thing, on that place, on that person, on that person's family. It's a lot. Um, and that, and that was just tedious to read. And was all of it necessary? I don't really think so some of it i can see where it was but some of it absolutely was not that's the the only really issue i had with it other than that it's just really a really really fun time and um i guess mostly the plot of this is Locke being a thief and like trying to pull off this con but things happen because of circumstances uh he ends up what is it seeking revenge we've got a little bit of a revenge plot in here which was fun it was it was very interesting i really liked it and i am definitely going to continue on with the series so i gave this a four to five stars very very glad that i read it excited to see what comes next in this world um so yeah this was not a good week <laughs> for reading it was a good week for everything else i had a great time this week but reading we didn't get a lot of reading done unfortunately so next week really got to push hard to get through as many books as possible um, I only finished two books this week. The first one was Unbirthday, and I only read half of it this week because I finished half of it last week. And then, of course, The Lies of Locke Lamora. So, not, uh, and I gave Unbirthday three stars, four stars. So, not the best week quantity wise. I really enjoyed my time with Locke, and I, I enjoyed my time with Unbirthday as well, even though it didn't get as high a rating as I would have wanted. Um, so, yeah, that was my reading 
for this week. Talk to me down in the comments. Let me know your thoughts, opinions, you know the drill. Um, that's going to be the end of this week's vlog and I will see you in next week's. Don't forget to like this video if you liked it, subscribe if you have not already, and I'll see you next time. Bye!